In today's video, we're going to be talking about Single Strike Urshifu. That is the fighting dark type, and he is great. He's amazing. He's definitely a top usage when it comes to ranking right now, and he's very versatile with a great move pool. So let's go ahead and start looking at his stats. So when you look at him, he's got 100 defense, 60 special defense, so he's a little lacking in the special department there. Uh, speed is 97, so he's actually pretty speedy. Attack 130, which is really good. Special attack 63, not what you're going to be focusing on, and HP 100. So he actually has a little bit of bulk. He's just a little weak in the special defense department there, but he's able to really be fast and do a good amount of damage physically with a great move pool. So there is a lot you can do with this Pokemon. Let's go ahead and continue looking on to the rest. Urshifu has a really good ability. It's very useful and basically it's Unseen Fist and it lets the Pokemon deal damage when they attack with contact moves even if the target is protected from the move. So protect, detect, things like that are actually not going to save you from Urshifu's onslaught, which is really cool. It's a great move, especially considering how heavy hitting he can be. Now, the single strike style Urshifu is going to have three resistances. He's going to be resistant to Rock and Ghost at 50%, and he's going to be one-fourth damaged by Dark type. So he's super resistant to other dark types and rock and ghost are going to do only half damage to him these are good resistances to have there are things like dragapult still running around and ranked so definitely good resistances to have if we move on and we start looking at his immunities though he does have one immunity and that is to psychic type pokemon so there is some psychic pokemon in ranked as well right now and definitely some move sets also so this is a good immunity to have not the best, I think the best would probably be Electric to counter Regilecki, but Psychic is a good immunity to have. Now the downside to Urshifu is he does have three weaknesses, three resistances, so they kind of balance each other out. I always like to have a little bit more resistances than the weaknesses, but he does have the one immunity, so it's kind of here and there. He is weak to Fighting type and Flying type, both two times super effective. And the big one is fairy typing is going to be four times super effective against him and that will drop him a fairy typing attack that hits him is going to kill him so fast so just keep that in mind he is super super weak against that kind of stuff so when uh, you're playing an opponent just make sure you're cognizant of what pokemon they have in their bench and what they are able to use against your urshifu if you're finding this video helpful at all or you're liking it, please drop a like and subscribe. Also guys, feel free to come over and visit us at the Twitch channel anytime you'd like. We do a lot of battles, raids, and trades every day, mostly Pokemon content as well as on Pokemon Go. You'll find the links down below in the description. Other than that guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of this video. Alright, so looking at the first set here, we've got again the Fighting Dark type Urshifu, Single Strike Urshifu. And we are going to focus on his two best stats, the attack and the speed, putting 252 EVs into both. I did put four into the special defense. That's where I kind of threw the remainder in. You can put it wherever you want, but it, it I just put it there. It doesn't make that much of a difference. As far as the move set, we do have Wicked Blow, Close Combat, Sucker Punch, Detect, and Protect. So Detect or Protect, they're pretty much the same thing. Doesn't matter which one you go, it's just your personal preference. Sucker Punch is great because it is a priority plus one move. And when you're going against something that you're pretty much guaranteed is going to be attacking you, you're guaranteed to go first, and if you're maybe slower, so if it's something like a Regilecki, uh, you're guaranteed to go before it because it's a priority plus one, and you're going to get stab bonus as well. So it's going to do a really good amount of damage on a priority plus one move. Close combat, of course, that's a pretty heavy hitting fighting type move. You are going to get your stab bonus on it. And Wicked Blow is an amazing move because it's going to inflict damage, but it's going to always land a critical hit so you're going to do a ton of damage with wicked blow and remember critical hits ignore whatever defense increases that pokemon may that pokemon may have so this is a great move to have that's what one of the reasons why this urshifu is amazing for ranked play as far as ability item nature of course he has the unseen fist ability we are going to be going jolly with this the set here so we are going to be focusing on his speed now there's a bunch of different items you could choose for this guy here. You could do Choice Band, Focus Sash, Black Glasses. You could even do Life Orb depending on what your team composition is. But these are the three that I have been using the most. And usually it's between Choice Band and Focus Sash for me. Now if I have something like Regilecki on my team, I'm probably using the Focus Sash for him. Uh, so I'm probably rocking the Choice Band on the Urshifu here. 
Okay, so this next set here is going to be a little less meta than the previous set. However, we are going to have an expanded move pool in this, so we are going to have a little bit more coverage on the on the field. Now, with the EVs, we're going to be sticking with the 252 attack, 252 speed. Those are his best stats. That's pretty much what you're always going to work on with this, unless you're doing some kind of a funky bulky build, which I've seen. I've made one. I have one, but I don't use it that often. Uh, as far as the move set, we still have Wicked Blown Close Combat. Those are his best two stab bonus moves. Uh, but we are now going to be adding Stone Edge and Poison Jab. Now, Stone Edge is a really heavy hitting rock type move, obviously, but it does have a lower accuracy, so just keep that in mind. But now we've got Poison Jab, and Poison Jab is specifically here to counter the fairy typings that come onto the field, which counter Urshifu. So this is a nice little counter, especially if you have some other heavy hitting Pokemon on the field. Uh, you'll be able to pretty much one out one of whatever the fairy typing is that comes out to kill the Urshifu because it's basically coming out to take care of your Pokemon so if you can kill it because you've got speed priority you've got damage priority then you're gonna be able to drop it and that threat to your Urshifu is now nullified so this is a really nice coverage move to have on the Urshifu as far as ability Adam nature we're still rocking the jolly nature you could go with adamant here especially if maybe you're pairing him with something like a regilecki who has electro web and is reducing the speed stats of your opposition then maybe you want to go with adamant but i do have jolly here and same items as before choice band focus ash black glasses again you could use the life orb if you want but i generally stick with the choice band or the focus sash depending on what my team composition is and what items i am using or not using Okay, so let's go ahead and look at some possible team partners that you can put with your single strike Urshifu here. Uh, you can find, if you go to pokolytics.com, I'll put it in the link down below, but if you go to that, you can actually see what usages are going on in ranked play right now. Um, and you can even give get recommendations for whatever Pokemon you want to use to see if they can, uh, you know, if there's something that other people are using, you can see what move pools they have and so on. Now, here are, there are a bunch of my recommendations in here. We've got Tapu Fini, Incineroar, uh, Lander, or I'm sorry, Thunderous, Kyogre, Regilecki, and Therian Landorus here. So there is quite a few diverse Pokemon here, not one of the same typing with the exception of the Regilecki and the Thunderous. Uh, Tapu Fini is an amazing Pokemon to have. Good typing coverage. Obviously, it's going to give you your Water Fairy typing. It has a lot of good moves it can use. And there's different builds that you can put this thing with. And it's generally just kind of a bulky Mon. So it's really good to have. Uh, Incineroar, of course, is amazing. It's always a top three usage Pokemon. It's so good with the Intimidate skill. And you can really build it in so many different ways. Offensively, defensively, uh, bulk, and so on. It's, it's just a very amazing versatile pokemon that you can use that really should be on almost any team thunderous is great because it does a lot for your team especially with electric and if you're going to pair it with something like a regilecki then it can do even more kyogre is just a monster it's always a monster i don't necessarily pair it with my urshifu but i have it in one of my other teams and it is insane to use it's not again my top choice for urshifu but it is one that you will see with urshifu team compositions Regilecki's amazing in general. We did just release a video on him previous to this video, and it's a great Pokemon. Another one similar to Incineroar that should be in almost every team. It goes, it, it kind of fits into almost any team composition, and it's got obviously a just tremendously high speed stat, so it's really good Pokemon to have. And then Therian Landorus, like Incineroar, I mean, Intimidate. It's got a great move pool. It, 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 it's a good Pokemon all in general. So if you don't have a Therian Landorus, make sure you get one. Uh, I know at the time of this video, they're out in Pogo, so you could always just catch one there and transfer it over if you don't have one, or just go in and do your Dynamax adventures and get one there. But it's a great Pokemon to have. All these six here are fantastic. My uh, my personal four recommendations would be Tapu Fini, Incineroar, and Regilecki, followed by Therian Landorus. If you're not going to use the Incineroar. So that's kind of my, my four recommendations there. But these are four Pokemon that could really do a lot in conjunction with your single strike Urshifu. In closing, Urshifu is amazing, and there's no reason why you shouldn't be using it. You could use it or you could make it your G Max Pokemon dedicated. You could make it just a frontline hitter, a backup swapping in to counter whatever's out on the field. There's just so much you can do with him because it's got a good speed stat, it's got a very high uh, physical attack stat, decent bulk. I mean, it's just, it's a very good Pokemon. So definitely, definitely consider putting it in on your team. It is a high usage and rank. 
So it is very, very valuable and it can do just so much. So yeah, put it in your team. Don't ask questions, just put it in your team. Um, but guys, thank you so much for hanging out in this video. I appreciate it. As always, if you like, please drop a like, comment, or subscribe. Um, all three, of course, help the channel out. Uh, but I'd love to know what you're doing with your Urshifu, if you've got some kind of a funky build, or what team you're pairing it with. I'd love to know how it's doing. Just drop a comment down below, come into the Discord, or even come by the Twitch let me know there. Uh, otherwise, have a great day, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out, and I do hope to see you next time. But until then, take care.